Thing. Hello and uh, welcome back. And uh, since last week uh, in Vietnam, and I made this video about the magic module creator able to create the windows on the fly, uh, I've uh, managed to make more things happen. This is more for the developers. You can now have uh, X and I classes, model classes, automatically generated. You can have the uh, M classes too. Okay, so model factory classes and also the doc event classes and the uh, XML files, as well as the uh, manifest uh, advice because it's difficult to override the manifest files. So there we advise there, and I will show you how you handle that. And the generate classes will be placed directly into your plugin. And for each model, they'll have different set of classes. Okay. And there's more. Uh, you can now use pre-existing elements like price list, quantity, quantity ordered, date ordered. But uh, if you want to define your own, you can use what I call um, hash. For example, the Q for quantity, this is for Boolean, yes or no. This for amount, this for date time, and this for text. But the um, name um, after this hash should not be the reserve ones. If it's the reserve ones, you would just um, use it without any hash. For example, like uh, you can see here, M product ID, C location ID, M product price list, and value. These are no need of hash. Okay. And most important of all, I've done uh, what we call a master detail here. You can create a master detail easily. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I did today or yesterday was able to pass in a list. Okay. So let's get to it. Let's start it up. Now I'm running from my um, IDMP source. Okay, you can see here it's empty. We will wait for the classes to be generated. Okay, so um, here we are. Let's log in. Super user system. This really will work very fast and that person will be happy. But you have to plan your what you want to do properly. So I'm going to create a master detail. The first one is called contracts. And these are the fields they want to put in. And later, it'll be a subtext assignment with these other fields I'm going to put in. So let's get to it. New menu, call the new window. Paste my new, sorry. Paste the new fields that I want. I'm going to call it contracts. All right. Make sure you have a comma in between. You can have spaces, but um, it's better not to have them. And these are passing uh, text background and these are pull down list weekdays. These is for birthday. So this is going to be a master table of all my customers, where they're located and uh, so forth. I can put things like age, you know. Age is a quantity, so let me do that. If age is a reserved word, then you, you just put age here, okay? If it's a reserved word. So you, you can check it out, but if it's not a reserved word, then you'll come out as um, a string. It's all right. Let's try it out. So take about three seconds. This means it's created. You can check your log. There's no error. It means it's created. Now we go to generate is um, master detail. You have to pull this down. It's very important. And you have to check this. Otherwise, nothing will happen. All right? So this will create a master detail, and your detail is called assignments. Have them here, and with this check means you will generate all these classes, right? Make sure everything is correct. Press the button because you're going to do a lot of work within a matter of seconds. Yes, this is all done. Because if you do a mistake, then you have to go back into the uh, manual way of correcting them. Now, we're going to add fields to this assignment because it's only adding a stop, a master detail stop. So, let's get to these assignments and the fields prepared for them. Have them all ready. I'm going to show you also the magic of uh, adding columns can work easily. Okay, 
let's say you have this beforehand place here appointments no nope. uh, I want to make a description because uh, description is a reserved word so if you spell them correctly you need not have any hash in front and this will be the amount of the project project cost this will be a background the scope of works starting work date time and ending work date time okay so do it this way this uh, master detail uh, sub tab has been populated and let's say after that you want to add more fields anytime you can always do this wipe out the old ones and put in whatever new fields you want okay so let this come on and save it again you have all been done and we can go and also but before that let's check the classes that's been generated because every time it's been generated you have to put in the manifest advice let me show you okay this has been generated uh, you have to get to the manifest advice copy this put into this manifest comma here and paste them and save them that's it now we will generate for the next one this one um, remove this this is very important otherwise you generate another sub tab okay make this one on and all these are checked it will generate the rest so let's get back here refresh see this is done get to the manifest advice again and you will have a new set from here comma paste your new set of XML advice so next time you restart them you'll get logged in but uh, let's let's have a look that they work and after that you can enter data you can restart them if you want to get the model to be affected but here I'm just anxious to see that it works to show you how fast you create a master detail window system without really coding anything at all see so let's enter some data show let's get this out of the way ah, so it's not reserved word that's why it's a string never mind you just put in you can put location let me put my home um, mm. ah, my country Malaysia you see this is all automatically done and uh, if you were to let me do this let me give a more exact home address this is where I stay and if you get the map see everything works just on the fly okay and this is where I stay so this is indeed very powerful very powerful and without uh, doing a lot of um, type of work background you say a new job and then you can resize them you can have weekdays okay and, and, and you can put a date blah 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 you know mm, nah, just just put in something okay so you save it and you can put in your sub tab information say this job okay scroll of words preliminary preliminary study start work just put in any date not get paid so you save it right? and then you, you can have a new record here um, CW mm. okay so you can have a, another address Whatever. Where is Washington? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not from US, so let's put it in. So you can put anything here. Background. Another job. Another client. Let me start on Saturday. Blah blah blah. 
save it and you can have uh, new information here scope of works let's say coding work you know and you can just save it so you see the master detail has uh, integrity there and it's all done very very fast but uh, for them to not be generic and let this model class take effect you have to stop them and and restart so that's what I'm going to do then you will see that it all will take effect and for the programmer this is the fun part all these codes are generated so if you want to do a model event uh, with this uh, let's say these contracts you call it up it's all generated for you okay and um, so after the, uh, this uh, model change, you can start uh, putting your code here, right here, all right? And, and put in the logic. So is it the logic with the uh, M classes? For example, let's say this M assignment for the setter getters, you could uh, come here and, and, and do stuff like um, whatever. Um, the logic that might be called by your events so for a programmer uh, this is all done for him and he can just code at speed of thought without doing all this careful thing it's all automatically done okay so i guess uh, let's look back at our model log back in see the data still persist there here you are you see we are now called under the x and defined not as a generic po but with their own model of course we can call them up and you can have the advanced search search for all ah notice that this is partner is searchable it's automatically um, sense it that you have a business partner here of course you can have this view and you can draw it in the tab editor easily so see so that's it the fastest ERP in the world enjoy bye bye